Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the fifth in a series of video tutorials on how to create a Minecraft style game in Unity 5. Okay, so in this episode what we'll be looking at is we'll be building some trees, uh, building, well we'll start building castle and we'll also look at glass. Um, the glass itself uh, requires playing around with uh, the shaders. But We'll get into the shaders and everything when um, we start building the glass. Okay, so for now, let's turn ourselves this way. If you remember in the last episode, we built this just here to give us some room and space for uh, this tutorial. So firstly what we'll do is we will build a tree. Once we have a tree built, it is fairly simple to uh, create another tree rather than build a whole new tree again so I'm not going to go too much into that but for now uh, all we need to do is down here if you import this asset the texture for the tree which is available on our website for free uh, the uh, link to our website will be in the description of this video just below okay so we've imported our tree texture right click Create and material. You've guessed it by now. And we'll call this one tree trunk 001. Okay, so at the moment in my inspector pane, I currently have set normal, set it to debug. We'll drag this texture onto here, like so. And now we have our material textured. Okay, so game object, create empty, right click, rename and call this one trees. Create another game object, create empty and we'll call this tree 001. There. And now we'll drag this empty game object onto this game object here like so so now we have two empty objects one's called tree one's called trees this here in the hierarchy will contain all of our trees this particular one will contain everything within this first tree so game object 3d object cube and what we're going to do is I'm going to take it all to zero. There we go. Hold control, bring it to where you want it to be. So for now, I'm just going to put this tree here. Rename, and I'll call this trunk 001. And now I'm going to put this inside tree 001. So you can now see in the hierarchy, the parent and child is starting to fall downwards like that. Okay, so that's our first section of the trunk of this tree. Zoom in. Okay, much like these cubes here that create the um, grass and dirt, drag and drop material for your trunk onto your cube, and then in scripts, use the map texture script and put it straight on. So now when we press play, we have the first part of our tree. Next bit is relatively simple, same as usual. Control D to duplicate, drag up and again, and we'll have four tree trunks, I think, there. So press play again and we should be able to see our entire trunk there. And that'll do. Okay, next we need to do our um, the leaves of our tree. So import tree leaves, straight in. Same old, same old by now, material. And we'll call this one, tree 
leaves 001. Okay, as you may have noticed, I am starting to speed up on things now, uh, getting things done a lot quicker, as by now the, the general feel of most things is kind of the same. So if you just drag your tree leaf texture onto the material. Um, so what we'll do now is this tree 001, game object, 3D object, cube. Rename, and we'll call this leaves 001. And drag this onto tree 001. So as it falls, under here, there. Now, local position, zero, zero, zero. And what we need to do is bring it towards our tree over here. I think we just need to raise up to about there. There we go. In fact, it's not quite aligned, has it? Best thing to do, pull it out, reposition, zero, zero, zero. Take our cube, hold control, shift it to where we need it to be. Let's say about there, I think. And then recouple it there. So if you ever have cubes that go astray, uh, end up in a, a weird position, not quite right, uncouple it from um, any part of the hierarchy, put it to where you need it, and then recouple it with the parent, in this case, tree 001. Okay, next thing to do the material we created for tree leaves, as usual, stick it on there, straight on to our cube. And now the good old control D to duplicate. Quickly do this just to create a tree. I'm not going to make the tree too fancy. You can create the tree however you want it to be. You can create it nicely, quickly. It's up to you. I'm just doing this just to quickly show you how a tree may look, even though I'm sure you probably know how a tree looks anyway. If you don't know how a tree looks, go look out the window. Okay, it's not a very good tree. It looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. But it's the principle. It'll do. A few more. Just to at least make it look half decent, I guess. Couple more just here. Like I say, you can design your tree any way you want. There's no right or wrong about how you make a tree. It's a tree after all. Okay, that'll do. Press play. And there's our fantastically terribly looking tree. What I might do is just stick a few more underneath. So we just change that there. Let's duplicate that, pull it down and across, and that'll do. I'm not going to spend too much time building a tree. You can do it, uh, do it yourself. It's <laughs> fairly simple. Okay, so in the hierarchy now, this where it's got trees, tree one is now complete. And what you can do to quickly create another tree is on this actual. Um, bit of the hierarchy, not the cubes. As you'll notice, when you select this, every cube below it is selected. You can Control D to duplicate. You'll notice it creates a tree. You can then pull the entire tree outwards. There. Okay, so that's how you can quickly create trees. You can create as many trees as you want. Use that same method, uh, just the whole control D to duplicate and just build the tree. So press play and we can see we now have multiple trees. 
I don't really have the time in this tutorial to make them nice, so you take the time and make them look as nice as possible. Okay, next what we'll do, uh, we'll start building a castle. And within that castle, we will have some nice windows, and that's where we get, um, get to play with the shaders. Okay, so for now, uh, we'll import this castle block. And as I said before, all materials, uh, assets, everything is available on our website for free. Uh, so once it's imported, right click, create, material, yeah, you've got it by now, castle, block, 001, yeah, you know what to do next. Over there, onto the texture, brilliant, we have castle block. On here, right click, and let's create empty this way this time, rather than go to the top. And let's rename this to castle blocks. Okay, so game object, 3D, uh, cube. Remember, 0, 0, 0 puts it in the center of our map for convenience. And I'll tell you what, let me turn the scene around. Let's have that about there. Okay. So, rename, and we'll call this Castle Block 001 getting pretty standard now. Okay, so drag and drop. Castle block. Done. Nice. Lovely. Control D. Duplicate. Yeah, you know the stuff. Nice and easy. Okay, so let's see. How are we going to build this castle? Okay, so let's Build that there. Let's take that up and again and again. So you'll notice all I'm doing now is just creating kind of holes. That's where our next part will come in nicely. One too many duplications there. Okay. So what I'll do is duplicate a little more. And let's create a little bit of a floor there. At the moment, I feel like I'm just teaching you to suck eggs. It's um, a, a lot of uh, this is just preparations. All it ever will be is preparations, 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 just to make it look how you want it to look. Okay, it's not the best looking castle in the world. Certainly isn't the best looking castle in the world, but it will do for now. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the scene round this way and zoom out a touch. Okay, next what we'll do is we will create our glass. So up top, game object, 3D object, cube. And as usual, zero, zero, zero. What we need to do now is shift it into the position we want, just there. And I'll rename this to glass block 001. Game object, create empty, and we'll call this glass blocks. And we'll drag the first one on to there. Okay, now this is where we actually give the illusion of glass within the block. So if you take this, the glass texture, into Unity, you can see it's there, create a material for it, and we'll call this, no, we'll call it a new material. Right click, rename. Uh, Say what, start that again. Press the wrong button there. Right click, create, material, glass, 001. 
and take over here there okay so this is our glass material now and if you apply it to our object you'll see it doesn't look like glass at all it just looks exactly like the texture we have so all you need to do up here go back to normal and let me see how can we take this let's give it a slightly metallic look okay so now you've done a slight metallic look on it all you need to do is click on the cube itself and over here down here where you've got shader it currently says standard click that drop down list and you'll notice you have several different uh, selections now I'm gonna go straight to the one we actually need but feel free to play around as I will show you what different things do so if you go to particles here and go down to multiply you'll notice it then goes see-through much like glass so if we duplicate and pull up and again and again and then let's take all four and put fill in oops, fill in the holes in our castle so if we press play head on over there you'll see that we have sort of glass in there now there not brilliant but it gives the illusion of glass okay so shaders can do different things and give different appearances to different blocks so for now I'm just going to take this first glass one and let's play around a little additive gives a kind of, well gives an additive to it it makes it look glowy as it were they can be essentially used towards lighting uh, you can do let's say let's see what else we've got again that gives a kind of a frosted glass look and let's try one more let's go to nature and let's say I don't know let's try tree leaf creator it just brings it back to normal so realistically you need to keep it set as multiply but you don't have to multiply double kind of gives that feel to it or you can do that and as you can see that kind of makes it well you can see what it makes it why am I telling you what it looks like I'm sure you can see it okay so I'm going to set it back to multiply okay and that is that relatively simple uh, we'll leave that uh, tutorial there for now have a play around with the uh, shaders on not necessarily glass but any different block okay um, so coming up in next tutorial we're going to look at start mining our blocks so we need to write a script to make our blocks disappear when we well it'll be when we click them uh, well and we'll also possibly look at some GUI um, so getting our um, inventory boxes just along here um, so yeah thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next tutorial